By the end of this video, you're gonna know how to set up a pressure washing ad for your local business to bring in leads and to book more jobs. If you're new here, my name is Armando and I work with local business owners helping them get more leads and jobs using the internet. So if that's something that you're interested in, click subscribe so that you don't miss out any of the other training videos. Now what we're gonna jump into is the exact same strategy that I use to set up a lot of my client campaigns and I'm gonna walk you through the entire process so that you can replicate this in your own business. Our starting point is gonna be the ads manager. If you're brand new to Facebook and you've never ran ads before, you wanna to go to facebook.com slash ads manager. That's gonna bring you to a screen uh, that you're seeing right here. Uh, what we're looking for here is this green button on the left-hand side that says create. We're gonna be creating our first lead generation campaign. If you guys are seeing this screen right here, this means that you are on the brand new Facebook interface. This is the brand new ODAX. And what we're looking for in this situation is gonna be this option that says leads. If your account still hasn't updated, then you're probably gonna see the original interface that, that you normally see. And in that case, you're still gonna be able to choose a lead generation from the middle column, which is the considerations column. So from here, you're gonna select leads and you're gonna click on continue. Now we're gonna set up our campaign, our ad set, and our ad. I want to let you know though that you wanna stick around towards the end because I show you exactly how to automate these leads so that you don't have to go chasing them and things happen automatically and they book jobs on your calendar. So stick around for that. But the very first thing that we're gonna do from the campaign level is we're gonna name this uh, usually something that actually makes sense for you. So if you're a local business and you're running ads in a specific area of town or zip code or service area, or you have a certain offer that you wanna promote in your in your uh, in your ads, then I recommend that you type that in here as the campaign name so that you can keep everything organized and it's not confusing later as you're looking at your data. Uh, once you're on this campaign screen, you wanna make sure that you come down to where it says campaign budget optimization and just shut that off for right now. Yours might be on, just make sure that all these settings are the same. This one's off, A-B testing is off, and then there's nothing else that you need to change on the screen. The next thing that you wanna do is click on the ad set level right below the campaign level. And what you wanna do here is start from the very top and actually name this, again, something that actually makes sense for you. You're gonna go down to the conversion section here and you're gonna have a few options in here as to where this conversion is actually going to happen. What you need to select is this option that says instant forms. Uh, once you choose instant forms, come down to the Facebook page section here and make sure that your, your current page is selected. Uh, if this is your first time running these type of ads, uh, you're gonna get a message below the page name that says that you must accept the terms of service. Since I've run ads before on this page, mine says view, but yours might say accept, click it, accept it, and it'll bring you right back to the screen. Uh, the next thing that we are going to be going down to is the budget and schedule uh, section. This is where you're going to be able to set your budget um, that you want to spend on Facebook per day. Uh, I recommend per day as opposed to lifetime, so just set this accordingly to whatever you, your budget is. Next, you're gonna come down to the audience section and this is where you're actually going to be choosing um, your audience. So you're gonna click this pencil under settings and you're gonna define a service area that you wanna run. Uh, so it could be a zip code, it could be a neighborhood, it could be an entire city, it can be multiple cities, multiple service areas if you've got multiple crews. Uh, also adjust your demographics in here. Uh, realistically, people who are 18 are probably not gonna be buying pressure washing services. So make sure that you adjust things accordingly. Um, you can also set your, uh, a few more options in here as far as like custom audiences. Uh, if you have interest that you can plug away in here, uh, you can do that as well. The next section that you're gonna come down to is gonna be placement. Uh, and under placement, you have two options to say automatic and manual placements. Now, it is totally up to you where you wanna run your ads, different strategies for different types of objectives. Obviously, if your goal is to generate leads, then I always recommend manual placement and allowing some of that control on where things uh, are gonna run and where your money is actually gonna be spent. So if you are a company that does not have an Instagram account and aren't active on Instagram, then just uncheck Instagram, uncheck the place is where you're not gonna be running ads. Once you've got all your placements set up, uh, 
come down here to the last section here where it says ads and this is where we're going to plug away your offer your creative your imaging your ad copy and all that stuff before I get started with this section I do want to let you guys know that I have a mini workshop that walks you through this entire process in more depth so if you're somebody who needs a little bit more hand-holding I walk you through how to create offers that actually convert I even walk you through targeting how to pick the best targeting options and even give you all the targeting that you're needing for a local home service business or a local business I cover automation to show you how to close these these leads on autopilot and have people automatically book on your calendar so if that's something you're interested in click the link below in the description or go to localleadmastery.com and snag that up now we're gonna go ahead and set up the actual ad once again you want to name this something that actually makes sense to you and what we're gonna do here is you have two options for ad setup you've got create an ad um, and use this creative hub a mock-up what we want to make sure is selected is create an ad and you'll be given a few options in here single image or video or carousel video so I'm gonna just choose a single image I'm gonna go down here to the ad creative and you're gonna get a chance to upload your image so if I click add image um, it's gonna open up the media library for that page if you've created ads before this is where all your images are gonna be stored if you have not created ads before uh, you can click this button that says upload and it will allow you to upload an image from your computer onto the ads manager the other option that you have in here is to actually pick an image from a page so maybe you haven't uploaded images to this ads manager but you do upload images to your Facebook page gym images of jobs videos of jobs before and after pictures uh, you can actually pick the page that is connected um, to this ad that you're gonna run and it's actually gonna show you all the images that you've updated there um, that you've posted I'm sorry and you can pick from one of these images the next step is to actually create your ad copy this is gonna go where it says primary text what you're gonna do is start writing a good offer that entices people to click the ad in some cases you can call out the specific city subdivision or even offer uh, think in terms of delivering what people want uh, instead of something that is about you so don't I don't recommend that you say you know hey we've been in business for 25 years and we do this we do this we do that it's not about you or your company and I hate to say this but nobody cares about what you and your company is doing what they care about is what is going to be given to them and how you can solve their problems so make sure that you write a good solid offer um, that makes people want to click once your ad copy is done you want to come down to the headline section and type it in here this is going to be the bold section right below the image that most people will pay attention to when they first see an ad so you want to make sure that your headline is enticing enough for somebody to actually click the next thing that you want to adjust is your call to action if you're telling people in your ad that they need to go ahead and learn more then you can select the learn more button if you're telling them that they need to snag a deal then you can go ahead and just get uh, select something like get offer or get a quote pick the one that corresponds best to the offer that you're making uh, to your audience the final step to this is to actually create an actual form because the way these ads work on Facebook is when somebody clicks the button uh, they're gonna get a little form that pops up on their mobile device and it's gonna ask them for lead details contact name first name email address phone number and any other information that you need to provide an actual quote and follow up with these people so in order to do that you're gonna go ahead and click on create form uh, and that's actually going to open up a form that looks like this from here you want to give it a name and once you give it a name and you can select either more volume which means a lot of people coming through or higher intent which means less people but a little bit of a higher quality of folks coming through um, then you're gonna choose your intro and for intro I just recommend that you leave it alone don't mess with anything that's that's uh, that's on here you can choose a greeting or a headline this is this section here and type in a short description of why they should go ahead and give you their information um, once they're on the screen the next thing that you can actually add are the questions uh, this information is going to be pre-filled from Facebook so by default you're going to get their name their email their phone number and you can add more questions in here or request more data from those users if you need zip code or street address you can add that in here as well uh, you can even go as far as to add custom questions uh, multiple choice answers um, and conditional logic in here to disqualify people from actually you know being a, a good lead 
Uh, once you do that, you want to go and just copy the private policy from your website, paste it in here, um, and continue to the next step. The final step is the actual thank you screen or the completion screen that you see here. This is something that is going to tell the lead what is going to happen next. What can they expect after that? So they've already clicked your ad. They've given you their information. Now what? So here is a good opportunity for you to tell them, hey, if you want to save an additional 5%, 3%, go ahead and click here and call me, or you can book an appointment on my calendar, or one of our representatives is going to call you uh, within you know five minutes uh, of, of you submitting this info. Uh, the other thing you can do is just have you know your phone number in here and have it go to a calendar. Once you've done this, you can click publish. The form will be live. Uh, right here at the very bottom, you can kind of see that. And when you're done setting this up, the final step is to actually click the green publish button. Once this ad is published, it goes to Facebook for review. Uh, once Facebook reviews it and makes sure that you're in compliance with their advertising policies, then they go ahead and make this live and you can start to see results from your advertising. Now, the next step that I want to show you is one that is very crucial uh, because this is the way that you can actually make these ads super successful and super profitable. And this is by automating what happens after somebody becomes a lead because in most cases you're going to be busy with either working fulfilling on jobs dealing with crews and running your business and you're not going to have the time to be answering and, and searching around for leads that come in through facebook uh, on your mobile phone and you're going to end up missing a lot of those opportunities this is the way to actually close the loop and make more revenue from your ads and make them super profitable so now I'm going to hop into our tool here and I'm going to show you how to set everything up. Now, by the way, I do want to mention again that this is something that I actually go into detail in my mini workshop, uh, locallymastery.com. You can go ahead and check that out in the description. And I actually even give you the automatic workflow that you see in here so you can plug it in straight into your own business. So what you're looking at here is our Lead Ninja tool. And this does all of our follow-up and automations, not only for my business, but for all my clients as well. So the very first thing that I want to do is I want to go to automations. Once you log into this tool, you're gonna to get to see the dashboard exactly like what you're seeing here. And I enable, I connect Facebook to this tool. It's basically a couple clicks of a button, you log into Facebook and it connects to the tool. And from here, I basically create this automatic workflow. And what this does is it tells the system anytime somebody submits a form on facebook and it is from you know the form that we just created whatever that is the the power washing form i want you when somebody submits their phone number name info and become a lead i want you to create an opportunity for me in this system so i can see all my leads my lead cost and everyone's details at a glance I want you to send me a text notification and an email notification letting me know that I just received the new lead and that I need to be aware of that. I also want the system to automatically respond to the lead. So it automatically sends an email to the lead letting them know that, hey, you've received their information and you're about to contact them or they can book directly on your calendar for faster service. The next thing that it does is it automatically reaches out to the lead via text message. So rather than you having the lead come in, sitting on Facebook, just waiting around and having it go cold because you can't get to it, you're busy on a job, this system will automatically respond on your behalf via text message and engage them in an automatic conversation for you so that you can close more of that business. So it sends a text out to the lead and then it waits for a reply. If the lead replies back saying, yeah, I'm interested in the quote, then there's more automation involves, involved where the system says, great, we would love to give you a quote. I need you to you know, let me know what time works for you. It goes out and it checks against your calendar to find available time slots and it lets the person know these are the time slots that are available, pick one, and then they enter into an automatic follow-up series so that all you have to do is show up to the jobs and close more deals. In the event that the lead does not respond in a timely manner, then we go ahead and we follow up with these people uh, 
several times for the past for the next 24 to 48 hours until they flat out say that we're not interested anymore or until they say yeah i'm interested sorry i was busy and this is the the entire sequence that we use to close more deals and more business from not only our facebook advertising but our youtube ads as well for our clients and um, you can use this exact same workflow as well so um, if you have any questions on any of this you know leave the comments leave the questions in the comments uh, go check out the mini workshop which is locallymastery.com it's in the description of this video uh, and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys on the next one